and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam. I'm going to give you a brief description of how we're going to run things on this channel. As you can see, we're doing our first ever Football Manager 2021 mobile save. Um, and when the new FIFA comes out, so FIFA 22, we'll be starting a Chef's Road to Glory. But back to today's video. We're going to start So we mean to go on. So we're going to go over to the Bundesliga. And we are going to pick Schalke. Whilst it's setting up the new game. Why Schalke? They, only a couple of years ago, they're playing Champions League football. But a fall from grace means that in real life, they got relegated from the Bundesliga. So we are going to take over here at Schalke. The aim of the series is to take Schalke from where they are currently to the top. So the DFP Pokal, the German Cup, the Bundesliga title and the Champions League title as well. And we will not stop until we have achieved all three. So, confirmation of us becoming the Schalke manager. Team report, we'll have a look at that in a minute. In a minute. Start of the season, our expected European qualifications. For me this year, for me this year, it will be trying to qualify for the Europa League, get the side better, then start qualifying again for the Champions League. And here we are. The captain is currently Omar Mascaral, and the vice captain is Benjamin Dumbale. Upcoming friendly, so we've got friendly tomorrow in this game, which we will see to in this episode. Against 1816 Munchen, and then we've also got Darmstadt 98, Würzburgen Kickers, and FC Augsburg. So let's let's introduce you to La Team. First things first, where's Omar? Here he is, Omar Mascarals, instead of Boyelup. And West Stambouli. Stambouli and adds centre back instead of Nastasic. Apart from that, that's all we're going to change in the starting 11. So the first 11 is, as you can see, Farman, Campalli, Kalasinac, Stambouli, Sane, Raman, Harit, Bentaleb, Mascaral as the captain, and Spoff. At that camp position, I'm just the one striker up top who will be Clash Jan Huntala. Now, let's have a quick look at the squad depth. Obviously, that's our opponent, 1860 Munchen. Here we are, the team report. Look at the positives! Morale is good, we've got good depth for the centre backs. We have excess transfer funds available to improve the squad. Woohoo! And we have the, one of the best backroom team in the division. However, look at all the negatives. So we are going to build a young squad instead of an old squad who are physical, who have pace. <laughs> And over time, all the reds will be green, and hopefully the green will still be green. Let's have a look at the squad depth. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, hey, we've got <laughs> we've got four centre backs. That's always good. I like having four centre backs, so we can start rotation off very well. For me, it has to be a goalkeeper and a striker straight away. 
before we even get started into the match, or before in any matches, this is what scout reports have got. A couple of goalkeepers, a couple of strikers, a couple of midfielders. Now, I want to sign someone now. But, how much money do we have? Obviously, you can see everyone's available. Oh, let's have a look at the rumours. Oh, to no rumours. Yay, let's go. And the shortlist. We have near about 49 million quid. I think for this season, we may be focusing on building, on getting another striker and getting a goalkeeper. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to sign Livkovic. But first, let me just add him to the shortlist. But first, let's get a striker. Now, what I always like to do is we don't want our own players. We don't want any injury players. We want players who are willing to join Schalke. We go to positions. We go to striker. We press search. Now, remember, we've got about 50 million quid. Give or take. But I want to sign a goalkeeper and a striker. There's obviously... Danny Aarons, if you don't know Danny Aarons, he's a FIFA content creator who has made Waman like a superstar. So he might be interested in signing Waman. But for me, there's two people on this page, both from the Eredivisie, who I really want to sign. Boado, we will scout him. And Danielle Marlin, we will also scout him. For me, they're the two I like a lot. And we just give so much diversity as well. I'm also going to to Pats and Daka, who I really enjoy as well. So if we go over to the f back over to place. Oh, we're already in place. We press clear. Let's have a look at any free agents who might be interested. You've got the likes of Adabai or. Oh, Adebayo, Alex Texera. I might actually sign Texera straight away. Just to get him as like a rotational player. So we have squad depth. For the, the squad because realistically the strikers and the goalkeepers are what we're struggling the most. But hey, we let's sign Livakovic. So, I'm going to go in with a healthy £8 million pound offer. Let's suggest. Oh, they won 9.5. Any interested clubs? Yes. Mines and Leipzig. So, we will drop down to £9 million. Oh, now Leipzig are ahead, as you can see in the bottom. They have offered 12.5. We're going to go... Half a million more, 13 million. They want 15.25. We're gonna sneak 15 point. Oh, they've gone to 16.75. We'll go to 17. They've gone to 17.75. Let's go to 18.5. Let's just sign for 20 million. 20 million quid. And let's offer, let's just give him the contract straight away. He's on 14k. Let's give him double it. We'll start off with 25. Five years. Oh no. It was 45k. We'll give him 30,000 pounds. A week. And there we go. 30,000 pounds on a five year contract. That's happy by me. Boadu. Let's have a look. Potential high. Current ability, pretty good. Interested. He likes leadership, unconvincing with free kicks, and ooh. But we're going to make an offer. Remember, we've already spent about 20 million on Blakovic. 
Now, what I'm tempted to do is give him Ralph Farman and 25 million. Let's have a look. 83. Realistically, we can only go to 29, and unfortunately, we're going to have to end it there with Boadu because the money, well, we have no money at the moment, but we're going to offer Alex Teixeira, I know he's 30, and I know I said I wanted young players, but we're going to offer him a three-year contract, we don't want him in release fee, and we'll give him 40k a week. What's 100? Are we going to manage to get him over the line? No. It's just a bit pricey for us. Right, back to the free agents. Ah, oh, Manuel Adebayo, what a legend he was. Bill Journeyman himself. Wilfred Bunny as well. Who else? Any other brilliant names? Jefferson Farfan as well, wow. Ezekiel Garay. Aurelio Gomez, he's won so much. Oh, well, he got to the final with Watford of the FA Cup. When unfortunately they lost to City 6-0. I think that's the only reason why that game will be memorable all for Manchester City. Just quickly seeing... Mo Mononchu. Not many people know he used to play for Manchester United when he was younger. Oh, I thought I saw someone. I really lost. Sami Nazri. There's not really that many players. I reckon. I Is that Mart Martin Skirtle? <sighs> Do we give Daniel Sturridge's? You know what? I'm tempted. Let's do it. Let's bring... Let's bring storage back. Three years. 35k. Boom. There we go. Daniel Sturridge, the 30-year-old. We have a budget to sign him. This is the day of the game against Munchen. 1860 Munchen. Now Dakar hasn't came back. Marlin also hasn't come back. But I'm going to try and sign Dakar. I know you're probably thinking, oh, why? For 24 million. Oh, they want 25. Can we squeeze 24.5? Boom, 24.5 million for a 21 year old striker. I'm happy with that. Let's press continue. Let's auto pick. Actually, Clash and Hunter are number number well, um, yeah, number twelve. Let's press submit. Let's proceed. Will we win this first match against TSV eighteen sixty Munchen? Let's go. I'm just gonna quickly take off goal replace because I don't like him. I don't like goal replace. Not bad start by. 1860 Munchen keeping us out for now. But here's Harrod. Oh, but we win a corner. Let's go. Harrod. Beautiful football. And oh, we scored. Benito Raman makes it 1 0 in the 19th minute. Let's go. Still 1 0 here. It's going good. Oh, Hunter Lobb blazed it over the bar. At half time, I will show you the tactics I'm going to be using for the whole of the season. Because I like going. I'm quite an attacking minded manager, if I'm being honest. 40 minutes in, we're still 1 0 up. Can we hold on to this lead? Bentela, Puntela, ooh, great save by the keeper. Obviously, you can see for yourself um, the real action. As like he's getting the goals, he's getting the assists. And that's it, half time. Jokel winning 1 0. So the tactics are shape, control, 
fast tempo and expressive freedom. Defense. Committed tackling. And that's it. Attacking early crosses, work into the box, and through balls. With mixed passing, mixed and mixed goalkeeper contrib our distribution, let's resume. Remember, this is basically our full starting 11. Like our strongest 11, I would say, at the, m at the moment. But with time, we will get there. And if you guys at home play football manager and there's like, oh, there's this hidden gem you need to sign, let me know in the comments below of who we should sign as well. And I will look into them and I will try and sign them. But as you can see here, still winning 1-0. Oh, but Munchen got into the box and cleared away. Coming up to the 80th minute, it's still 1-0. I mean, it's a comfortable performance by us. We scored the goal. We've taken control. As you can see, possession stats, 62 for us. We've had one clear shot. Clear cut shot all game, but we've converted it. That's why, in my opinion, we need a decent striker. And use Hunter as a super sub. But 94 minutes of added time. And are nearly up. This is looking like the first win for us at Schalke. Schalke won. 1860 Munchen nil. As you can see, Raman with a 9 rating. And Kalazin, our wing back to Klasnet and... Kapanli, both with an eight. Let me see. let's continue. There we go. We eat edge out. A close encounter, but a win is a win. Now we've pretty much used all of our budget to sign Daniel Sturridge. Welcome to the club on a free transfer. Just for that squad depth once again. That's the reason that's basically the only reason why I've signed him. Daka as well. Let's try and sign him on a decent contract. He's on 7k at the moment. Let's give him 30 seems to be the good number. On a five year contract. Oh he wants about 56. We can do 40. We're down to like 1.9. Boom, what about that? 40k a week. 1.9 million sign on B. Let's finalise that. I think we're going to end the episode with us signing both Livakic and Daka. Mental facade there. Let's just Press continue. And there we go. Twenty million pound. Dominic Livakovic for twenty million pound. In my opinion. Bargain. But oh Real Madrid have came in for forty three point five million for Boado. He's worth it in my opinion. And Daka sign. Let's go. The three players I've wanted to sign. Daniel Sturridge, Patson Daka, and Dominic Levakovic are signed. Let's see how much money we've got left. We've still got 5 million. So, if you guys know any decent players who are A, cheap, and B, are above 5 million. Wow. Let's have a look. Let's, 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 um. It's just a, a, a just a wow. Um, yeah, I think we may need. Okay, I'm gonna two point five million. Give me a. Yeah, two point five million. Give me a player to sign. Let me know in the comments below who is decent, got good potential. And it's only 2.5 million. But that's going to be it for the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. See you soon. Bye bye.